Hello GearFAX friends, today from the Software Toolworks we have the Miracle Keyboard. Are we ready for a miracle brothers and sisters? Well, you might need to look a little bit further afield. This keyboard is as simple as they come, but I have to say, I do like its appearance and simplicity. Now this demonstration is going to take about one minute because we have six sounds and a volume control. That's literally the entire console of the Miracle Keyboard. And friends, I'm not even going to plug in for a direct recording because there's really no point. The six sounds are kind of scratchy, generally pretty usable, but I really don't see any benefit in giving you ultra clarity. And you'll see why when you hear the first sound. Piano. So really, not a very believable piano sound. This is clearly designed to be a teaching tool for an absolute beginner. It doesn't have USB, it's got an old SESI socket for plugging into a computer, and presumably it came with some software that put some music up on your screen and facilitated learning. That's all obsolete now, of course, and I guess the point I'm trying to drive home is that you won't get exceptional sounds out of this keyboard. Let's move on to the next one anyway. Harpsichord. So it's a very rough tone, almost to the point of being charming. The next one is organ. Again, a very flat, charmless kind of sound. Vibraphone, however, is not too bad. Then we have electric piano. and synthesizer. You can blend the sounds by holding two keys together. The first key that goes down will be at the bottom end, second key will be at the top end, so organ and vibraphone. Not a great match there because the organ's too loud. Let's try a synthesizer and electric piano. Okay, so you get the idea. So, why do I kind of like this keyboard? Well, I'm not sure, but I've taken the camera off the tripod to give you a bit more of a panning look at its appearance. I think it's sort of the robustness and the nice square shape of this keyboard that I find very appealing, and it's just begging to be modified. It's got this enormous blank panel here on which you could put an effects console or a whole lot of circuit bending potentiometers or something like that. Lots of upgrade options for the tinkerer. So what's on the back? Well, there are one or two pretty cool things. You have your power adapter going here, and I notice it has a master switch as well, which feels really good to the touch, and just makes an interesting change from a switch on the front. I don't know if there's any real benefit to it, but anyway. The foot pedal is obviously something that's custom made for the Miracle Keyboard. It's got a weird looking rectangular socket, and you'd be very lucky to find one of those. Just over here we've got RCA audio out, left and right. I don't know why you would want that. And also there's a headphone socket in 3.5 millimeter format. This is the parallel port or SESI socket or whatever it is that connects to the software. Obviously you're not going to need that unless you're a vintage computing enthusiast. And lastly, we've got MIDI in and out. So that's pretty cool as well.
Well, what a surprise. It seems that MIDI does actually reveal a few extra sounds of similar quality. And this is the brand, the Software Toolworks. I'm not aware of anything else that they've made, but check out this logo. Who thought that was a good idea? I think the only person who's going to benefit from owning this keyboard is, like I said, somebody who wants to get inside it and maybe make some modifications, or perhaps somebody who just really wants a 49 key MIDI controller. To be fair, the keys do actually feel pretty good. But apart from those things, the Miracle keyboard gives you pretty much nothing. Certainly not a miracle. Anyway, thanks for watching Gearfax. Please like, comment, or subscribe. I hope you found that one interesting. I'll see you on the next video.